Hello there. Will you believe me when I tell you this photo right here is not from the internet? Or not just any normal photo? This is not a person also, but this is an AI generated picture. Pretty awesome, right? Pretty detailed, pretty good. And I'm going to teach you how to create this with a simple AI tool. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use this specific AI tool to dancer art. And this should be the landing page also on your end. The thing you want to do first is log in. So once you log in, you're going to have a hundred credit. So I already have a deduction because I already created a photo from earlier. I have, I think, 2.6 deduction. But for now, we still have 98 and that's still good to go. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, browse the models first. So you have a lot of models here, pretty um, life realistic, pretty detailed, and then choose a model of your own. So earlier, this is the one we got, Juggernaut XL. But for now, let's choose a different one. I'm going to go with this one. Photo Real version 3. Click on it. And then once you click on that one, you'll have this specific model. So by the way, this is a photo generated by a different creator. And then to use the things or he thinks you use here, click on remix button right there. And you'll arrive in this landing page. So you remember this photo. This is our media library right now. Don't um, focus then as of now. We're going to focus on this left section. So what you want to do here is make sure you focus on the metrics. That's the key here. That's a key point. So you can arrive a very beautiful, very accurate life looking photo. So the first part right there is basic model. So the one we chose earlier is going to be realistic fusion along with the Laura auto reel. So if you want to change the basic model, simply click on this one and you'll have all the models from the choice with earlier. So you can choose if you want to change it, but if you don't want to change it, I can just retain myself from the one earlier. So Laura, just like another model combined together, it's just going to be a sub model. If you want to change this one, you can simply click on add the letter one more time and you're good to go. So make sure this is around 0 0.8 to 1 to make sure this will reflect or rather reflect your base model. That's the idea here. Make sure it's 0 0.1 or 0 0.8 to 1. And then VAE, this is just going to be by default my favorite. Um, the idea here is that this is not really that much importance over here. But again, don't choose anime. If you're creating a real life person, don't choose anime, don't choose this wifey, cute, blessed, choose this one, MSC, K8, or I rather Zora. That's the thing here to make sure you're real lifelike. So the prompts here, these are the prompts from earlier, don't change them, don't do anything, make sure everything here is good, don't choose, or rather don't change a thing. And then making our way down here. You can gonna choose your aspect ratio if you want your square, landscape, or portrait. You can also click your custom size right there. It's really up to you. Changing the width and height. But for now, I'm gonna go with portrait. Sampling method. This is by your own choosing, but for now, I'm gonna choose my favorite one, DPM plus 2mm crass. It's not really important regarding this one. The important part here is this seed and this upscaling. So we're gonna go with the upscaling later on, but for now, for seeding. Make sure this is empty for random. If you input a wrong number here, you might affect your quality. So as of now, I suggest click or rather make it empty for random. Click on advanced settings right there. Make sure this is under one or two. Maximum of two, don't put it on three to 10. The suggestion here is one to two only and make sure this is limited to zero to one. That's the key point here. So regarding upscaling, this is recommended by two, but for now, we have a free plan that is only limited to 1.5. We can try 2 if we still have that resolution available to us. We can try it later on, but I doubt it. But for now, we're going to stay at 2. So upscaler, you can choose that my suggested here is ultra sharp or S-Gun for now. I'm going to go with S-Gun right there. And higher steps, make sure this is only 8 to 10. The noising straight, 0 0.4 to 0 0.6. Please take note everything, every metrics I'm saying here, okay? So add detailer, this is another extra tape step for you. If you want it for more optimal experience, of course, toggle it out. And with this one, it's going to have another prompt. Add LoRa one more time. But if you're satisfied with the LoRa from above, you can just remove this one. And then that being said, you can generate your count here. So the four generation images is for pro. I'm going to go with two here and click on generate. 
So since we still have that available to generation tool right there while waiting, I'm going to go with image to image right now to take you step by step right here. So with this one, I'm just going to use a specific image I got from the internet. I'm going to look for it on my computer right now. Should be somewhere around here. Should be this one. Let me go for desktop. There you go. Found it. So image to image, we're going to reference the image I got to an image that this AI will generate. So again, you can add LoRa by your own choosing. Let's choose one right now. Let's choose a specific LoRa or a model base or second dollar model for that specific prompt. So as of now, I'm not really looking or having any choice as of now because I don't really like something. But I'm going to go with this one for real with that good right there. So 0.8 or 0 0.6 or 1, it's up to you. So the prompt is going to be this one. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to change anything here. I just changed the model. Again, is a negative. Make sure these are um, the same. So I'm going to go for portrait. And then sampling method, I'm going to go with 15 here. That being said, for seed, I'm going to remain at 0. Add detailer, I'm not going to use it anymore. And for generation count, I'm going to go for 1. Click on generate. And there you go, we're going to have the image to image production as of now. But for text to image, these are the two photos we got. Let's check them out. So as you can see right there, you can't tell me that's not realistic, right? Again, this is not from Midjourney. This is not from Pika Labs. This is not from Runway ML. This is not from Leonardo. This is an application tensor art from the webpage. And for free trial, you have 100 credits to use from. And that is really really realistic so the second photo we got right there is this one it's pretty good especially the hair so the quality you need to look for is the hair not the face and you'll know if it's really realistic that being said that is really good so lastly here we're gonna focus on animate while waiting for our image to image tool we're gonna focus on animate here so the model being used is 1.5 i'm gonna i'm gonna retain it as of there and the prompt here this is where we're gonna use a prompt so for example, I'm going to use a prompt here, a girl, rather, a beautiful girl in a library. Basically, that's just that. And then I'm going to retain easy negative here. I'm going to go for portrait. Sampling method, I'm going to retain as it is. And then sampling seed, I'm going to go for 15. Random for seed again. For advanced setting, this is going to be 2. Number of frames, I'm going to go for below 5. Because this is not really number of frames, not really that important. This is the duration, how much you got. So let's just go for 10, just for the sake of the discussion. So FPS, the higher the FPS, the better. That's the thing here. So I'm going to go with 10. And then click on generate. Now, I'm going to go now with the image to image I got earlier. And there you go. I'm going to pull up the comparison with the sample I got. Okay, this is not the one. Sorry about that. Okay, there you go. Let me just wait for it to load up. And as you can see, this is from Mid Journey. It took a while. For example, I think I got four trials here. And if you compare it from here, it's much more better. It's much more lighter than the one here. This much more look like a computer. It's much from a animation. But for this one, the one from Tensor, it's much better, right? The way that's how you do image to image on tensor art now let's focus on the animation let's try clicking it and as you can see right there it's not that much good because we have a very generic prompt let's try clicking or creating a very good prompt right here how about this one right there let me just type in a 22 year old german woman portrait hyper real and let's just say outdoor and basically make sure you have easy negative landscape also and for sampling method make sure it's 15 let's increase it as of now fcg scale this is going to be for depending on the prompt i'm going to go with seven and i'm satisfied with this one click on generate and wait for it to finish now while waiting for it to finish i'll get back to you once it's done so welcome back our animation has just been finished generating and this is the result and as you can see right there it's pretty realistic actually it's a bit trailing on the genre right now it's pretty 
um, scary, but anyway, it's pretty realistic as you can see right there. Anyway, that's how you use Animate on TensorR. So last information for you, if you want to import your models, everything you made here, you can also import it on the specific TensorArt media. So for doing that, make sure you go back to the landing page and then click host my model right there. Click on it and simply paste the link here and click on submit. That being said, that's how you use TensorArt, a generation AI tool. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.